Let's get it. 2024 is on the way. Who's putting in new music in 2024? And I'm talking about you watching this, you creators and things like that. Because are we waiting on some other artists to do what we hope is going to be dope? Or are we going to be the ones that really create what we like and what's really moving the needle around here? My name is Dame Smith, and this is the Hip Hop State of Union. And we're going to be running things over here. It just is what it is, simply because... The way I see things seem to be a little unique as far as what I understand the music industry to be doing and what I expect from it. And so we're not going to be looking at the music industry anymore as this um, industry that's looking for employment. We're going to be looking at it as an opportunity. And it's only simply because we've seen it done once. We only need to see it done once, right? So as we see more and more artists becoming independent as far as embracing the fact that we can dictate our work ethic, we can dictate our value, we can also manipulate the market if you have enough influence, we're going to start taking initiative in educating the fan base on what's going to be valuable and what's going to be determining um, excellence as far as artistry and musicianship. Because in the past, we've let it be known that we rely on certain resources to tell us what's dope and what's not. And in the past, we've been led astray. And we can look right at the results of what hip hop has brought us up to this point. Right. And so with that being said, I'll be leading the conversation and I'll be taking you through how I look at things from current events and hip hop new technology and hip hop finances in the music industry. And we'll be learning together. Now, the reason this is going to be the approach that I take is because if I were to come at you with this channel, with the information I've learned as though you should already know this, there will be so much resistance from you guys in the comments talking about how you used to do things in the eighties, who you like as a rapper, A whole bunch of bullshit that doesn't matter, right? So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how you can go from someone who doesn't understand music theory, like at all, to a person who can actually create an income from their ideas. And the only way you can do that is through learning, not necessarily asking questions you already know the answer to. Or asking questions that you do not want the answer to. So I'll be making sure that valuable questions will be answered. And invaluable questions will be openly and publicly shamed. So going forward, anybody who's having any um, interests or problems maybe within their own musical journeys or and you know business and things like that. Feel free to reach out and we'll try to direct you to the right resources to get you what you need. Because let's say you're a college musician, right? And you're learning a brass instrument, a woodwind instrument or a stringed instrument. And you want to learn, like, what do I do after college? Like everybody's telling you, you know, get a degree, get into the workforce. How do you do that? Maybe you're an older musician. You're like 30, 40, 50, sometimes even 60. And you want to learn an instrument. But you don't want it to be a waste of time either. You know, maybe you you already have your priorities in order and this is, you know, going to be hard to edge into your lifestyle. How do you make that happen? These are questions we'll be answering here in this channel over time throughout your participation, as well as through videos that I'll be providing you, you know. And this will be done tastefully, creatively. I'll be adding my own spin onto it. And I want to be able to have the conversation with you guys, either in the comments or throughout the videos about how you're navigating the music industry with your understanding as it is today. Many of y'all who are musicians and creatives, you've been fans more so than you've been producers. You've been consumers than you've been manufacturers and distributors, right? And if you want to take the next step over to becoming either a standalone pillar in the music industry that can withstand the waves of trends that are going to be coming your way. Or you may be a musician or a 
employee of music, as I like to call them, because, you know, you may not actually play, but you're a part of the industry. Maybe you're one of those people that would like to be a part of one of those pillars in the music industry and help move the needle and change trends throughout time. So going into 2024, that's going to be the move. If you guys are ready for this, make sure you let me know in the comments. If you're not liking the videos, you won't see more of this. But if you are going to be participating, I need to see you constantly. I need to see you working. I want to see if I go to your channel, I want to see you posting. I want to see you interacting with your community. I want to see you engaging everything, participating, pushing buttons, doing everything.